What's up guys, Carl Toby here. So I went to my first card show in a while. Uh, there was actually one in a mall of all places, um, which you know, I haven't been to one in a mall in, in years. Um, but a friend of mine was uh, helping out, or he was actually doing a signing with uh, Lenny Dykstra. Um, he set the whole thing up. And uh, so I went to kind of hang with him a little bit and then I uh, took a look around. Um, wasn't really finding much. It was a lot of uh, guys who had tables set up who, um, you know, obviously were breaking lots of boxes and hit lots of big cards and they had display cases. And then there were some people there with, um, you know, newer product and uh, then there were guys there with, uh, you know, 10 cent bins, five cent bins, dollar bins, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Some, there was one guy who had some vintage stuff uh, and a couple of vendors who had like uh, some 80s uh, sealed product. So that's kind of what I was actually looking for. I was looking to maybe grab like a old 80s box on the cheap, but um, no such luck. Um, you know, they were actually a little pricier than I had expected them to be. Um, so just walked around and um, found this one guy who had a dollar box with all the cards were in um, top loaders and penny sleeves and uh, there was a sign on it that basically said a dollar a card um, you know ten dollars for 15 cards so I just for yucks picked up a couple of you know a few of the cards out of the, the bin and started rifling through and I'm going to show you these cards in the order that I found them um, well in the order that I decided to, to, to keep them I should say the bin was loaded with uh, mixed sports, um, football, basketball, hockey, and baseball. Um, it was, uh, you know, some decent products in there as well as uh, pretty much a lot of Hall of Famers. Um, uh, you know, big chunks of like John Elway cards or, you know, um, for, for uh, football, Merino cards for football. Uh, then there was like this, these little stacks of these sepia Chrome cards from 2020 Chrome. So this was the first card that I came across was this Jeff McNeil. So I'm like, okay, you know, for, for a buck, what the heck? So this is my starting point. So I figured if I could get to the 15 cards, then I, you know, I, I'd buy them. Um, so the next card I came across uh, that I wanted was uh, this one. This is a stadium club from like 2002 or I believe or 2001 or 2002. Um, this is like a four or $5 insert. Um, I think it's cool. Uh, it's in the Mets, you know, blue and, and orange, which of course I love. It's Mike Piazza. It's a Hall of Famer. Um, the reason why it's a buck, you can see, uh, unfortunately, with some of these older stadium club cards, this is probably stored in a box against, you know, pushed hard against a, a lot of other stadium club cards. And uh, when they separated, it had a little bit of paper loss. So, but for a buck, you know, for like a $4 card, can't go wrong. Uh, next one I found was this red. Um, 2014, I believe. Yep, 2014 uh, tops. So that's a Travis Darno rookie card, and nice little parallel there. Again, for a buck, can't go wrong. Um, then I found this optic Pete Alonzo, which uh, I did not have any um, optic from last year, so picked that one up all day. And I found a. Eric Lindros rookie card, um, oh, and I did not have, of course, everybody knows I, I love my Fleer Ultra and I love my stadium club. Um, I'm a Flyers fan. I know it's kind of weird for a Giants and Mets fan, but um, and that's what I am. So <laughs> uh, to pick up a rookie card of Eric Lindros, sure, why not, for a buck. Actually, less than a buck when you get to the $15. Uh, next was this... Um, it's a Donruss Zenith, um, and this is a, a an insert, uh, Epics, and it's numbered to 100. So Eli Manning, um, insert card, number to 100 for a buck, sure. Uh, this is an insert from Absolute Football, uh, Saquon Barkley stargazing card, not numbered, but again, Saquon Barkley for a buck, sure. Uh, let's see, Thunder and Lightning, the new version of Giants Thunder and Lightning. It's a little cool refractor shine to it. Uh, with Saquon Barkley and Sterling Shepard, so another insert. And 
it came across. And so now we're at this point, this is about what I had actually hit for my P, my actual PC, um, you know, my team PC and player PC. But uh, then I, you know, started to figure out which cards I wanted, you know, just to, to get to the 15. So um, I saw this. This is a rookie review. This is an insert from UD Superstars. It's a four sport um, set that they put together back in 2000, early 2000. Um, so this is Jerome Bettis and Derek Jeter. You can never pass up a Derek Jeter card, especially now it's a football hall of famer on it and uh, Jerome Bettis. So uh, then we have these, or this is um, George Brett Club 3000 card from Fleer. This is from 2002 Fleer, or no, sorry, my, my bad, 2000 Fleer. Um, so in the Fleer had these in various products. Um, I have actually a Yastrzemski one, and I believe I have a Gwyn. Um, so I decided that, you know, I saw it, and um, I might try actually um, getting all of these uh, inserts and just collecting the whole set. So for a buck, George Brett, Club 3000, sure. Uh, next card is the newest Met. So even though it's not in his Mets uniform, that's a, one of those sepia cards that I said that were kind of like a stack of. Um, great player, Francisco Lindor. Uh, this one was kind of cool. It's from uh, Panini Select and it's a uh, insert. Uh, I forget what they call it, Sparks or something like that. Of also Francisco Lindor, sure. Um, there's an Alec Bregman base from the same set. Uh, this one I have uh, somebody in mind for. You know who you are. Then uh, uh, this was an interesting find. Um, so what I'm going to do here is swap this out. So there were 13 cards right now, and uh, then I found these two together for a buck each. Uh, Xander Bogart's rookie cards. These are going for about four dollars each on um, eBay. So you know, not going to pass up rookie cards. They're both pretty well centered. Um, you know, will he be a Hall of Famer? I don't know. I don't think so. He's had some good years. He's a good ball player. I uh, can't go wrong with a rookie card from a good ball player. So that's my fifteen cards. Uh, so I went to. Uh, the guy selling them, and I took out my 20 bucks, gave it to him. He gave me 10 back, and then I looked down, and in the display case, uh, I see the following card. So, Jacob deGrom, 2014 um, update series, and, uh, you know, I, I didn't, he did not have a price on it. Um, I took, took it out of the team bag, so you guys can get a better look at it, but... Um, he did not have a price on the team bag, and um, just for yucks, I asked him, you know, I said, how much for the Jacob DeGrom rookie? And his uh, response was 10 bucks. I did not even hesitate. I immediately handed the 10 bucks back to him, uh, and I mean, the case alone uh, cost a few bucks. So um, I, I, you know, I, I was baffled, to be honest with you, that he'd be selling this card for 10 bucks. Um, you know, it's, I cannot find anything wrong with this card, really. It's maybe off-centered a bit, um, but I did not have a Jacob DeGrom rookie card. I have acquired a ton of card, Jacob DeGrom cards, um, in some of the, the trades and the, you know, the, the, my, uh, followers who have sent me Mets cards, but obviously this was one of the ones that I did not have. Um, it's a great card. Uh, I love it. Uh, I actually started wondering if there was, if it was fake. But I don't know who would be trying to counterfeit a 2014 update Jacob DeGrom. But um, I mean, this thing sells raw on um, on eBay all day, like you know, 55, 60, 70 dollars. Um, yeah, it just has some low points. There's uh, some of them are selling for you know, around 30, but, uh, I, you know, again, for a $10 investment, um, for potential, you know, he's going to, he could potentially win another Cy Young. He could win two more, three more Cy Youngs. Um, you know, so I, I, I just couldn't turn that deal down. Um, so that's it for tonight, guys. And, uh, there's my 15 cards.
for 10 bucks that I got the show and a little bonus buy uh, that I saw in the case. So um, let me know how you think I did and uh, I will see you guys soon.